In this video, I'm going to talk you through how to install WordPress on your own site. Before you get started though, there are a few things that you're going to need. You're going to need a domain name and you're going to need hosting. When looking for hosting, you're going to need a hosting provider that provides PHP and a MySQL database. Now, most hosting companies, most paid for hosting companies these days will provide both as a matter of course. Some of the free hosting companies or if you have um, a broadband package that includes a certain amount of web space, they might not include PHP and MySQL databases, but most paid for hosting companies these days do include these. Now in this video we're going to be installing WordPress from the control panel and the most popular type of control panel is cPanel and that's what we're going to be using for this demonstration. With cPanel a lot of companies provide a couple of add-ons. One is Fantastico and the other is Soft Delicious. And these are packages of free open source software that you can install with just a few clicks and they generally come bundled with cPanel, one or the other. So you need to check and see what your hosting company provides before you actually take out the hosting and try to install WordPress on the server. Now let me just talk you through the procedure. Okay, now I've logged into my control panel and this particular hosting account uses cPanel. If you have a cPanel hosting account, then you might find that your version of cPanel looks a little different from this. They do vary depending on which package your hosting company has. Now, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here. because this particular hosting package comes with Soft Delicious. The most popular types of add-ons that come with cPanel are either Fantastico or Soft Delicious. If your hosting package doesn't include those, you might find that your hosting company has got WordPress in another box up here because it is a very popular application. If you don't have that, if you need to install it manually, don't worry, I'll cover how you do that in the next video. But fortunately, my hosting package does include Soft Delicious, which does include WordPress. So I'm going to click here on WordPress. Now, because this is Soft Delicious, it's taking me through to the Soft Delicious installation page, or the page to install WordPress from Soft Delicious, rather. And if you're installing from Fantastico, or if you're installing directly from cPanel, then it might look a little bit different, but the general principles are going to be the same. So you need to come over here and click on the tab that says Install. And you can see all the information to set the site up. You can choose your protocol, either HTTP or HTTPS if you have a SSL. Uh, you can choose the domain. Um, Normally, there'll only be one domain on this drop down menu. If you have a subdomain attached to your account, it'll give you the opportunity to install it in the subdomain or the add on domain. Then you have the directory you want it installed in. By default, this will set it up as WP. If you're going to have it on the main part of your uh, website, if you're going to have it on the main part of your domain, then you want to leave this blank. So let's just delete that. Let's just scroll down a bit further. And you've got the table prefix in the database and the site name and the site description. And you can enable multi-site. I'm actually going to leave all this at the default settings for this demonstration. Let's just scroll down a bit further. Then you can set up your admin username and password and then the admin email by default it will set it up as admin at whatever the domain is and it's a good idea to change this actually because spammers know that this is the default email address and so you might find yourself getting a lot of spam emails if you leave this at the default settings you can set your language by default it's english but if i click on the menu here you can see you've got all sorts of different ones that you can have. 
You can also, this is a good idea to check this box that says limit login attempts because this will basically block out anyone who tries to hack into your WordPress blog. Sometimes people will try and hack into your site by accessing the admin area and this will lock them out after they've put in the wrong password a certain number of times. Just scroll down a bit and look at the advanced options. Again, you can set all these. You've got automated backups, etc., etc. I'm going to leave all this at the default settings for this demonstration. Let's just close that. Then you can select a theme. And as it says, it's optional. If not selected, the default theme will be installed. I'm going to leave all this at the default settings. So then you just simply click here where it says install, of course, let me go back up here again. You'll want to change this first. Uh, you don't want to leave particularly the password at the default settings because then anybody can hack in. Let's just pause the video while I do that. Okay, I've changed all that. You can see I've given the site a name and a description and I've changed the admin password. If you click here on this little gold key, it will generate a random password, which you can see from this is actually very strong. If you decide to do this, then what you should do is copy and paste this into a text file in Notepad or something similar, and then save it to your computer's hard drive and perhaps print it out just so you have a written record of it somewhere. I've also changed the admin email, so all I have to do now is go down to the bottom and click here on install. You can also have these uh, details emailed to another email address if you want. Let's just click here and get it installed. And there we go. It's working all this through and it says this may take three to four minutes so <laughs> except it didn't take three to four minutes there we go it's done right away and you can see you've got the uh, URLs including the admin URL you can also send a tweet if you're on Twitter to tell people that you've got your new WordPress website set up but let's just uh, click here and we'll log into the admin panel I just need to enter my username and password and then click on login. And there we go. You can see that this WordPress dashboard is similar to the WordPress.com dashboard that we looked at in the last video, but it does have more functionality. For example, you've got plugins here and it's telling me that one of them needs updating. But other than that, it's actually very simple. Okay, that's how you can install WordPress on your site via cPanel. If you don't have the WordPress installation script as part of your hosting package, you'll need to install it manually. And I'll show you how to do that in the next video.